Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is your Shirley Temple yes, sir. photo news fix. What? I didn't feel like putting my hair up today. Yeah. This fix is brought to you by Storyblocks and their massive inventory of studio quality stock footage. If you've ever been in need of a quick video clip for B-roll, After Effects templates, or motion backgrounds, Storyblocks has you covered. We've used B-roll from Storyblocks extensively over the past five years. Whether it's a couple walking in Central Park that we didn't have time to capture or a simple clip that is used as a transition, Storyblocks has been there for us with royalty-free clips, audio, and graphics, and they can be there for you as well. To sign up for Storyblocks, head on over to storyblocks.com slash fro. Even though today I'm curly. I feel like an idiot. It's slash fro. First up, we have an interesting legal case involving a man who shall remain nameless as well as faceless. Vala Morgulis. Three women accused a 40-year-old man of following them around a Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and Walmart and taking photos of their butts and chests with a cell phone. Uh. The faceless man was arrested and convicted of unlawful photography in each of those cases and sentenced to three and a half years in prison. And that's the end of the story. Actually, it's not. It's just the beginning of the story because all three convictions have been overturned. The nameless and faceless man's lawyer who deserves the most expensive Leica ever, by the way, used this argument to get him off. And by get him off, I absolutely mean no pun intended. It's very clever. And I quote, here we have have women who are fully clothed. They are wearing pants. They're in the middle of aisles in public stores. Leslie Ann Tiller told the New York Times, they were not in restrooms. Hey, Clarissa. They were not in dressing rooms. He wasn't convicted based on the law. He was convicted based on somebody's perception. Wow, that is one hell of an argument by a lawyer. Basically saying, he's not a creep. He didn't, do, he didn't go into the bathroom to do it. He just did it in public. Is it legal? I don't know. The judges went on to say things like, and I quote, it is simply not reasonable to expect that our fully clothed images will remain totally private. And no evidence suggests that the defendant attempted to photograph the victim underneath her clothing. The reason I bring this up is there's a lot of discussion about what you can and cannot photograph in public in the United States. Now I've personally operated that if you're in a public place, you are pretty much fair game within reason, of course. But what about photographing kids? Well, in the past, I've gone to public sporting events like Little League to test cameras without asking anyone because it's in a public place. I've used the argument that you're in public and I'm in public and I can take pictures. You're out. Yeah. But these days I will only photograph kids if I know the parents and they let everyone else know why I am there. Now this is such a gray area, though I do expect laws to continue to evolve and change as the years go on. Now at the end of the day, there is no place for assholes chasing women or men around attempting to photograph their private parts. It's 10.33. Now, I wonder if you accidentally, you know, need the guy in the nuts if you would be arrested, or maybe that is perfectly acceptable and legal because it's in a public place. <laughs> Next up, it looks like Nikon might be about to ship the super overdue 70-200 2.8Z lens. Now, according to Amazon, this lens is set to be released on May 31st for $2,600. Now, I checked with Madeline in Nikon PR, and she said that she had to check with Nikon to get me an official quote. And up to this point, I have not gotten an official quote, but if I do, it will be inserted weirdly right here. Delays in procuring some components as a result of the spread of will impact availability of the Nikkor Z70-200 F2.8 VRS lens. We will announce further details as they are determined. Oh, thanks, Madeline, because that wasn't the question, now was it? Now, I've had this lens on order with Alan's camera since the day that it was announced. If you'd like to go to Alan's camera, just go ahead to go to alanscamera.com and let them know that the Fro sent you, and maybe you'll get a discount. Now, the funny thing is, at the time that I placed the order for this lens, I was still a Nikon shooter. So will I be canceling my order? The answer is 
No, this is one of those lenses that I want to own and it will be a major staple in my Nikon Hebrew Trinity. Next up, now it's time to fill you in on this week's Canon rumors, starting with the reports saying that the new Canon EOS R5 would set you back $6,700. Now this rumor started on a website in Australia, AKA the home of Bindi and Robert Irwin, in case you were wondering, and also where we raised $17,000 for their wildlife fund for this shirt with koala bears on it. Maybe they'll give me a tour of the Australian zoo one day when I go because of this shirt. No, seriously, you guys raised $17,000 by buying this shirt that all went to the Wildlife Warriors Fund. The website set the Australian price at $10,500, which would have made the US price somewhere around $6,700 and the Canadian price at $1,237,000 and 12 cents. You like that to me. Now, once this rumor started to spread around the world, I got a bunch of messages asking what I thought about the price. Now, as if the price was going to be that price, there is no way in hell that this camera would be priced more or close to a 1DX Mark III. So please use your heads for more than a hat rack. At least that's what my dad used to tell me when I did something stupid when I was a kid. That's not love, that's three feet above your ass. Now I've said it numerous times before. I think the camera will be priced right around 35 or $3,600. Now what's your guess on the price? Please let me know down below. And in the second Canon rumor, there's reports that Sigma is prepping RF mount lenses because of the excitement generated by the yet to be fully announced EOS R. Five. Now, I love RF glass, but for the everyday shooters who can't drop $3,000 on a lens, Sigma RF glass would be a total win. Now, if Sigma pulls this off along with Z glass, they will own, in my opinion, the majority of the third party lens world for Nikon, Canon, and Sony, and, and definitely not Pentax. And finally, speaking of Pentax, in the biggest news ever, in photo news history, Pentax has revealed their upcoming flagship APS-C sized DSLR. Really Pentax, your big announcement is a DSLR? Well, for now, I'm gonna reserve my comments until I read you the major specs that they announced because I hear this will be the best APS-C DSLR model ever made or produced by Pentax. It will be compact, durable, and functional while employing every available technology, uh, except for that pesky modern mirrorless tech that everybody seems to want and use these days. What are you talking about? Okay, now it's time for the major specs that they announced. Drum roll please, Dan. Uh, that, that's definitely not a drum roll, Dan. Okay, that's better. And now it's time for the major specs, or shall I say spec, that Pentax revealed. And here it is, the camera's optical viewfinder. Yes, yes, so much yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Because that's really what I care about is the optical viewfinder. Just look at it. Just look at that. Is that not the sexiest viewfinder that you've ever seen? Pentax is using special glass material to give you distortion-free images. Oh yeah, get this. It will also have an eye sensor. Whoa. Wow, Pentax, you really done it this time. But wait, it actually does something better than the Nikon Z system. It will have a functioning grip. Take that, Nikon and Madeline and Nikon PR. Pew, pew, pew. Your grip sucks. So what's the camera called? Well, Pentax didn't have an official name just yet, but I would like to suggest the Pentax TLTL, which stands for too little, too late. Too little? And there you have it. That's your photo news fix. This time around to check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'll leave it. Jared Poland, Frono's photo.com. See ya.